2012, the year that James Bond taught the Queen to skydive at the London Olympics. The Avengers smashed the box office. South Korea gave the world Gangnam Style and, in spite of this act of music terrorism, the Earth didn't come to an apocalyptic end as the Mayans predicted it would. Looking back through my cigar journals from that same year, it's both fascinating and a little depressing to see I was able to buy a Monte Cristo No. 5, a Romeo y Julieta No. 1 and a Trinidad Reis for less than £30 in a single transaction. The Reis alone was a measly £8.50. Yes, prices inevitably increase over the years due to inflation and other economic factors, but that same Trinidad Reis has shot up from £13 at the beginning of 2021 to as much as £32 at some retailers at the time of recording this video. That's almost a 250% price hike in just 18 months. Hell no! Much of this insane increase is down to Habanos SA, the company behind Cuban cigars, introducing their quote-unquote global pricing standard, whereby prices are now universally the same, with the baseline being the cost of Cuban cigars sold in Hong Kong. Sadly, this has placed a number of the most popular Cuban cigars out of budgetary reach for many cigar aficionados. As another example of this madness, a three-pack of tubed Cohiba Robustos, already an expensive proposition for many, will now set you back around £230 for just three cigars. What kind of shit is that? But panic not, my friends. I'm here to share with you some of my favourite New World cigars that aren't just more reasonably priced alternatives, but, in my opinion, actually supersede these ludicrously expensive Cubans on every level. And seeing as how Habanos SA like to pluck silly numbers out of thin air, let's use that three pack of Cohibas as our target budget. To begin with, let's shop by the box. For around that same £230, you can currently purchase a box of 10 Oliva Serie V Milano Natural Robustos. These renowned cigars were in my top 10 smokes of 2021 and, in my opinion, put those Cohibas to shame. Okay. What about some awesome Mexican cigars? I love a Lancero, and with a box of 10 Casa Turrent Lanceros, either Claro or Maduro, coming in at just £139, you'd still have another £90 left over to spend on even more great cigars, including various double Robustos from the same brand. One of my go-to herfing cigars is the Cafe 1901 Liga de la Casa Maduro. Don't let the budget price tag of this cigar fool you. It's an amazing stick, and you can currently grab a bundle of 20 for a crazy £190 and still have enough money left over to treat yourself to a Cafe 1901 Culebra. Just don't be silly like me and try to smoke that one all in one go. Perhaps you're more of a singles person. In which case, can I suggest checking out the sublime Padermo 10th anniversary box press Maduro Epicure? For the cost of those three Cohibas, you can pick up at least 12 singles and have enough change to treat yourself to a half-decent bottle of booze to enjoy with them. <coughs> Rather than buying just a single blend of cigars, why not look at a sampler pack or two? There are plenty of brand-specific ones out there, such as those from Rolando Soto, Hiram and & Solomon and Oliva. All of these brands make fabulous cigars and their samplers offer an opportunity to explore their ranges, possibly finding your new favourite cigar in the process. And they often work out more cost-effective than buying the cigars individually. These suggestions are only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the plethora of New World cigars out there that not only give you great taste and construction, but also represent far greater value for money. Given the choice between spending £230 on three Cuban cigars or putting the same money to a far greater quantity of New World ones, I know which of the options I'd go for. How has the rise in the price of Cuban cigars affected you? Let me know in the comments below and I'd love to know what New World cigars you're going to be filling your humidor with. I hope that you've enjoyed this video and if so, please like, share and subscribe for more reviews, cocktail pairings and videos like this one. Thank you for watching. If you like the content that I produce, please consider supporting me through my Buy Me A Coffee page. 
I'll leave a link in the description below. Your donations will help me to continue producing future videos, grant you access to member-only content, and get your name in the credits like these awesome people here. Meanwhile, check out these videos for more amazing cigar and cocktail-related content. And until next time, cheers and long ashes.